Good morning, my name is Mindy Caldwell and I am a staff member with the National Framers Council who has had the privilege to work um, pretty closely with the safety committee over the course of the past few years. But I'm going to start by giving you just a, a brief overview of the primary thing that we have changed about, um, about FrameSafe. As you've probably noticed, you, you got an email at the beginning of August with, with the new rollout and um, the biggest thing we've done is, is make it easier for you to access your manual and the other tools that are available through the FrameSafe program. So with that, you should have gotten some login credentials for our website. Um, I tried to send that information to anyone in your company that it seemed were related to your framing program or your safety program. Um, I didn't want to just blast your whole staff with the information. So um, if you're having any trouble with that login information or if you need additional people at your company to receive those credentials, um, please reach out to me after the session and uh, we can get that in the works for you. Um, the way the, the program is set up is that each individual person would need their own um, password to get into the FrameSafe um, program. So I just wanted to make that clear up front. So when you're ready to um, access your information, you just go to the NFC website at framerscouncil.org. There's a couple of different ways you can get to the dashboard. You can either drop down directly to the subscriber dashboard from the uh, navigation, or you can go to the FrameSafe page. And there is also a link here at the top to access the dashboard. Um, anyone can see this information. So if someone's curious about, you know, what it is, this will give them a little bit of an idea of, of what's available, um, hopefully get them more interested in learning more about FrameSafe. And you'll see as much as possible, we've tried to add things in Spanish as well to, um, to make that more accessible to our, our bilingual framers. Um, so this would be the first page you would get to. Um, and there's just simply a sign in button here. And I will go ahead and log in. <clears throat> and apparently it's going to take just a minute. <laughs> I, I will note here that a, a few of the files um, that have been uploaded in these resources are fairly large. Um, so if you do have just a little bit of lag every now and then with certain files, especially the manual itself, um, they are fairly large PDF files. Depending on your connection in your computer, it may take you know, 30 to 45 seconds to download a few of those files. So I just want to throw that out there. So now you'll see that the sign in button has changed to customize frame safe manual. So for you, when you log in and click on that button, you're going to receive your manual that has been um, customized with your company name and logo per the instructions you gave us when you became a subscriber. Um, so if, again, if anything doesn't look quite right about that, you can certainly reach out to us and we can make adjustments. But for right now, we've based this on what you had for version three and have updated it to the version four information. I want to point out that the primary thing that changed from version 3 to version 4 with regard to the manual um, was primarily the addition of section 1.18, which covers um, the new OSHA silica guidelines. Um, so you want to check that out specifically. But then for the rest of the dashboard, I think this is what um, the committee and I are, are most excited about, is that now everything that's been created is in one place. Um, so easy delivery was, was our first, one of our first focus points. The second big focus point, especially for the guys on the committee and the work they've done, has been putting together um, more robust implementation resources. So um, if you click on this first button here on the dashboard for implementation resources, you'll see that there's a couple of different things that have been put together to help support our subscribers in making FrameSafe as successful as possible in your organization. Um, the first is a, a FrameSafe mentoring program. Um, and this, is, this information is covered in a couple of different places along the way. It's, it's simply that there are people um, 
in leadership in NFC who have volunteered to be resources for new subscribers. So depending on the region of the country and you just find your regional mentor's uh, name and phone number there and you can give them a call and ask them questions. Um, I'm available, other NFC staff are also available. If you can't get a hold of one of them, you can certainly um, reach out to staff and we can try to assist you as best we can as well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The second thing is the implementation guide. And this is um, brand new to the program. This is the other big new, new piece of this. Um, so if you read, you can, obviously I won't read these things to you, but um, this implementation guide is an 18 page resource document that can be downloaded, printed, however you want to use it, that really goes through um, everything the program contains and how it should be used. Um, it's broken down into what to do to get started, to really implement the program among your management, um, to get everybody on the same page um, within the management of your company and decide how you're gonna use the program, the goals you're gonna set, that kind of thing. And then um, how you implement that with your employees, how you work with your GCs and your subcontractors to all be singing from the same sheet of music, we like to say. Um, and then how to take your program to the next level um, with some of the additional uh, training and safety awareness resources that are made available. So this is, um, you know, the, the email pointed this out and, and we say this in a few different places. This is really a great place to start, especially if you're brand new to FrameSafe. Um, check out that implementation guide, you know, walk through those steps, have, have some meetings um, in your management team and, and uh, really, you know, make the program your own um, before you roll it out to your employees. So the other thing to, to note here, especially for those of you who have been FrameSafe subscribers for a while, um, who like to have a comprehensive binder of everything all printed out in one place, um, this would be a good resource to point out to your subcontractors um, if they're in a situation where they just want to have a binder an additional thing we've added is this under creating a comprehensive frame safe binder. This resource document again is very large, but this is now like the companion to the manual. So this PDF document, which is over 200 pages long, contains a copy of absolutely everything that is available in the program from the implementation guide to a copy of every single toolbox talk, to a sample copy of all the posters so you can kind of see in the bookmarks you know everything is included in English and Spanish where it's available so that there is one place where people could go to see everything and it's it's bookmarked fairly nicely so you can jump around um, uh, to the different the different areas so you can um, so see that you know there's a copy of every single toolbox talk. So if if you wanted to have a binder that had a sample copy of every single thing that's available with the program, this would be the other document to print out in addition to your manual. So that's that's something new to take note of. So that's the implementation resources. So you'll see that everything is fairly easy to um, to navigate from this navigation here. You can go back to that initial page that again brings us back to the different areas. So obviously toolbox talks, um, I'm sure I don't need to tell this group the importance of toolbox talks. Um, we do now have 66 toolbox talks in our library. Um, one thing to note here is that, you know, obviously it's gonna list all 66 of them when you come to this page, but if you filter by topic, these topics relate to the different sections, the six different sections of the FrameSafe manual. So say you just had an incident or you want to do some additional fall protection training and you're like, oh, I just want to see the fall protection toolbox talk. So you click that box and then it narrows it down to just the 15 toolbox talks that relate to section four of the FrameSafe manual. So that's kind of a, a handy little tool. And then if you unclick it, it'll take you back to all of, all of the topics again. So from Toolbox Talks, we also have, you can download all of, well, I'm just gonna back up here one second. When you do click on a specific Toolbox Talk, it will then allow you to download that individual Toolbox Talk. 
So that's kind of how that works. Everything's still being delivered in PDF format. It's just going to be a little bit easier to search and find and print. So from there, you can either save that file or you can print it directly from the website. Um, same thing with posters. Um, again, we have 23 different posters available. Um, when you click on one, here it's going to allow you to download it either as an 8.5 by 11 version or an 11 by 17 version. Um, again, to either print directly from there or save it to your server for later use. Um, so that's kind of handy. The checklists, um, again, this is another, and these are talked about fairly extensively in the implementation guide. These are resources that got developed along the way um, after, I believe after version two of FrameSafe was developed, we started working on some of these checklists um, to, to provide additional safety awareness resources to our subscribers. So this is where you'll find the orientation checklist, which um, is also emphasized heavily to use to kick off. Um, so we will want to um, you know, have you look at those and download those as well. Um, and these are also available. You'll notice they're, they're available in English and Spanish, but you download them separately in either English or in Spanish. And that's pretty, pretty straightforward there. So um, we will also have AHA templates. Those are downloadable in, um, as Word documents. So you can download the template and um, you know deal deal with the template. You can edit the template as you need to, um, and and go from there and, and make it your own. There's also a blank template that's available um, to download if you wanted to you know create a, a, an EHA and a topic that we don't have. I do encourage you that if you use the blank template, if there's a topic that we aren't currently covering, please share that information with us. Um, you know, FrameSafe is always evolving and uh, you know, we would love your input on topics that aren't covered and things that are needed, that type of thing. So um, the forms and worksheets, this is also an area to check out if you need something specific. So basically this is just items that are in your full manual that are available individually. So, you know, there is an accident report in the full manual, but if you just needed a copy of the accident report, you could come here and quickly print um, or download just that form. These are also available as, as fillable forms. So you'll see when you download this form, you can actually just type in the fields um, you know, as, as you need, you could, you know, type type and fill everything out and then print from here. So that that also makes it um, fairly easy to use if you're if you're sitting at your desk at the time that you need it. Um, a few of the other resources here are um, in addition to what's found in the manual. Uh, so there's this is where you'd find the silica work plan. Um, there's an extra copy of the table of contents if you need that for record keeping. But then in addition, there's also um, a field air monitoring report and um, what's, uh, the, certific the certification of field training uh, tracking worksheet. So this is a, a template um, Excel spreadsheet that you could use to track through what training your, your employees have done both within FrameSafe and then beyond that as well. So it's another tool that you can um, use and, and make your own and, you know, uh, customize for your company's use. Additional training resources right now, the only thing we have here is our guideline for an OSHA site visit. Um, but obviously this is another area along with presentations that we want to continue to build. So that will be something to look forward to um, as we move forward, adding to both that the additional resources and the presentations section. Right now, the presentation, there is um, one that Kenny did uh, several months ago on the job site silica enforcement. So that's there as a resource. Um, this this presentation will probably also be linked from, from this location. So just other, other things that can help out along the way. And obviously, the committee will be working on as we go. Um, the last thing I want to point out really quickly is the, the search on this site is fairly robust, too. So keep that in mind. Um, you can do a lot of filtering by keywords. So say, you know, you want to search just on uh, everything that we have on an OSHA inspection. Well, you search for OSHA, you're going to get both our 
training resource, you're going to get a couple of toolbox talks, your, the, the implementation guide references OSHA inspections. Um, so definitely use the search if you're not finding exactly what you need. Um, this, this gives you another opportunity, as I mentioned before, to filter by, by topic, um, to filter by content type, which, you know, if it's a checklist you're looking for or a toolbox talk you're looking for, that type of thing. Um, so, so we wanted to make it as user-friendly as possible and, and really allow for you guys to drill down to the information you need. So 